Hey guys, welcome to an auto review right here on ToyWorldOrder.com with me, Deval, and my buddy Dave Draper. Yay! Yay! Gang, we've been asked. Uh, we have been asked several times to review these, and we were waiting for Dave to uh, actually to get them, to procure them. Well, first we were waiting for me to get them, and then we were waiting for you to get back from Florida. I had so. to take a vacation. I'm sorry. Yeah. But today we're taking a look at the Boss Fight Vitruvian Hacks Series, Series two. two, plus the New Jersey Comic Con exclusive Blasted Land Orc. Yes. Uh, these things are pretty amazing, and the, the first wave is the Knight of Accord, Lacuna the Cave Fairy, uh, Ariana the Elven Archer, and the Orc Conqueror, as well as, like Dave said, the Blasted Orc, the New York Comic, or the yeah. New Jersey Comic Con exclusive. It was the New Jersey Comic Con exclusive. What did I say, New York? I think you said New York. Uh, you were close uh, enough. Six Jersey, one, New half York, yeah, yeah, that's fine. My bad. But, uh, of course, the, the packaging... There will be comments. <laughs> there will be comments. We're going to take a look at all these up close and personal, but the packaging, of course, is very familiar. Yeah, if it's you... basically the same as Series 1. Yep. Uh, resealable packaging. It just comes apart on the back there, and you can just slide that out and slide the figures out. Um, beautiful packaging. Gorgeous Has, artwork. Yes, gorgeous artwork from Boss Fight Studios. Some great figures. Look, we got the packaging out of the way. Mm -hmm. we'll, what everyone really wants to see is these figures. So let's take a look at the figures. All right, Vitruvian Hacks Wave 2. This is what uh, a lot of series people two. have asked for. Series 2. Sorry, Wave 2 was way back in there. But, yeah. uh, series 2 is what people have been uh, been looking forward to for a while. Um, I know they've got four series planned. This, of course, is their fantasy line. Yes. So we've got... Uh, we have Ayanya, the Elven Archer here. We've got Lacuna, the Cavern Fairy. And we have the Knight of Accord. Now... All of these guys have the amazing articulation that we've... Uh, here, let me move move the cave for it real quick. Move her away. They all have the the amazing uh, articulation that Boss Fight Studios has delivered to us in the past with the last... Uh, all the Vitruvian Hacks figures before. Double-jointed knees, uh, you know, uh, single-jointed elbows, but uh, swivel wrists and arms and... The, the shoulders, the heads here are on a little ball joint. They're on a barbell joint. On a barbell joint, yes. Uh, the feet, as well as a little rocker joint in the feet, so the feet can swivel. Um, the hips, um, they've got a little rocker joint at the... the, the they, uh, they can... You're almost entirely off camera. I, I know, I'm sorry. Um, so they got a little rocker joint here. I was trying to move. She's got a little cut um, for her waist, but uh, she didn't quite... Uh, doesn't quite turn at the waist like I think she should, so I'm not going to uh, not going to force her uh, in favor. Uh, of I think those don't have a waist. I think they have an upper torso, and that yeah, that's it. But the Elven Archer here is kind of cool because she has, as you can see, she comes with a bow. I have put this rubber band on here just to show you that you can notch your own bow, so you can't actually put. Well, a, they said they did that on purpose. Yeah, they did do that on purpose in case people wanted to um, really uh, really show it off. And of course, you can actually notch an arrow onto that and fire it which i'm not going to do because uh, we will lose these arrows uh even though there's quite a few of them but as you can see if i'll just take that off so you can see there are little notch holes which they, of course like dave said they did do on purpose so you could actually notch your own bow so that's really cool the elven archer here has a little a little quiver yep. and she's got a bunch of arrows you know she's got uh one two three four four she actually got six arrows i got five in here i'll show the other one's right below me here but uh all, all the arrows are the same. Uh, this one's got a little bit. Yeah, but they're all separate. Like, usually you get, like, a clump of arrows. Yeah. Just, it's all molded into the quiver. Yeah, these, these are not. These are all uh, free mold, you know. Did you screw up an arrow already? No, that came out of the package like that. Mm. The quiver and actually has places on the side. She comes with a little pair of knives. And the quiver actually can hold those knives right in this little slot right here. So that's a nice little touch, too, because uh, in most figures you'd have to find a place to put said uh, knives. But she can also... Um, I mean, I guess if you wanted, you could put the arrows down in here as well, <laughs> just for the heck of it. But she does, uh, so the knives do hang out down there. And then she's got a couple of, uh, she's got an extra set of hands, and both these hands are left and right hand, but they're uh, made so the fingers here, you can separate the index and the middle finger. A lot of the fingers in the set are like that. Are like that, yeah. yeah. But this, so you can give an idea, so she can actually hold the said arrow once she's got it notched on the bow, so... It's pretty darn. Her accessories are pretty cool, and of course they, they all come with a little, boss little fight boss stand. fight stand, which is nice. Always nice. But yeah, these this figure is uh, she's she's pretty spectacular. I like how she looks. I'm gonna let Dave do the orcs though when it comes to it though. So I'm gonna do these three and I get the ugly ones. Yeah, Dave get well. I would think the orcs are his favorite. Um, let me move him real quick out of the way. I'll leave the accessories there, but so you can see the uh, 
the cavern fairy, Lacura, or Lacuna, sorry. I keep wanting to call her Lacura, even off camera. I kept calling her that. Um, she's really cool. She She's not a gargoyle. She's a cavern fairy, but she does have a lot of gargoyle-like uh you know, tendencies Details. to wings. Yeah, the wings. The wings here are actually um, can actually pop off. So she has the same articulation as all the other uh, Vitruvian hacks, but the wings actually here can pop off, and they actually have a little a little hinge joint here. Yeah. With a little peg, so they can so that you can maneuver them uh, easily around her her back. She also comes with a pair of folded up wings. So if you wanted to pose her with her wings folded, like so, you could do that. So you could have one wing out, one wing in. I'm going to take her wings off for now, though. So she's got a pair of extended wings, a pair of folded wings, which are really nice. She comes with these two weapons. She comes with, like, this crystal scepter, uh, which is very neat looking. Well, and again, one of the things they're very proud of is she's a cave fairy, so her her gear has that crystalline rock yes. kind of cavernous. Translucent. Well, yeah, yeah. but uh, but it looks like something that came out of a cave. Yeah, and then she has kind of this flaming, uh, this flaming dagger... On this vine that she can swing at people, which is kind of cool. But uh, I love, I love. She's got the little steampunk, steampunk goggles, goggles, yeah, which are which are neat. Um, I love her outfit; it's very very cool. Um, and of course, if you were wondering, just like the other Vitruvian hacks, there's a little screw back here. You can take these figures pretty much completely apart, almost totally, almost totally completely apart. Um, there are some pieces that don't come apart, but like her, you know, her 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 bra here is a, is a separate piece. It's not molded onto the yeah, body. Yeah, all the clothing is, yeah. is is separate. Yeah, it's very very nicely done. I love her hair. Her hair looks like she's in the midst of like coming down from from wherever she was hiding, swooping down. Her hair is sculpted in this very nice uh, very nice uh, floating detail there, but uh, very cool. And the hair's just... I mean, the paint apps on these figures are beautiful, too. They're gorgeous. As, as we'll see with the next figure, especially. Yeah, especially with the next figure, which is the Knight of Accord. And the Knight here is very cool. You have a lot of different options with the Knight. Uh, and he's got some great... Uh, he's got some great articulation. Even with the armor, he's got all the articulation of a Vitruvian hack, like you would expect. Um, he's got he's got an axe that he can hold, which will take his axe out of his hand. Mark he's got a, he's, he's got a, short, a, a short and a sheath. A uh, sword and a sheath here, and the sword can actually come out of said sheath, so he can hold the the sword, and the sheath just plugs in a little hole in his back there. Um, the shield here, I remember Dave and I had trouble with the original Vitruvian hacks release shields, um, and I, I if I remember correctly, they were a fully molded piece. You actually had to take the hand off, slip the forearm on, and then put the hand back together. Um, if I remember correctly, I think this little brace strappy part was just it. It was a very kind of it was flexible, but you had to work it to get yeah. it to, to move. This one is is a much uh, softer plastic uh, on both sides, so you can actually separate that to put it over the forearm. He can hold the shield. The you shields, can do it with the original ones also, but like I said, you you had to get them kind of worked out a little bit. Right. Uh, the shield's beautiful. I love the paint and the paint apps on the shield. The detail on it's gorgeous. The little from the rivets all the way to the design of the two. Uh, the two Pegasus and the, the, the I think that's in the North Star. Um, but it's just beautiful, beautiful design. Uh, and then he is very cool because uh, not only does he have, I mean, he's got all kinds of places here. Like he can, his, his sheath can go at his waist. So you can actually plug that. I can't get it plugged in right now because the, the peg holes are a little weird. But you actually plug his sheath in at his waist right here, which is cool. Um, he's got a little... A little rivet here that you could actually plug the sheath into so it just hangs off this little rivet which is kind of cool uh, a lot of neat options the uh, the shoulder pads here do come off so you can have him without the shoulder pads with the shoulder pads the helmets here come off so you've got you've got three different head sculpts you've got um, three different styles that you can put as heads which is nice yeah if you wanted to army build them you could you yes could, and there are also like visors for the helmet, yep. different visors for the helmet, so you can really kind of uh, change them around and make them look unique. Now the visors here, I found while we were pulling them out, while they do attach, they've got little rivets on the side that they can attach to so they can open and close. So you can actually have your helmet on him closed. So you can actually have closed helmets here too. Um, these are interesting because they are a little tough to get on. Yeah, one of the problems with waiting to, to, to really mess with them for this review is I, I, I should have broken out the hair dryer. Yeah. And gotten them, gotten them soft but, up. Uh, as you can see, there's a, up. there's a few different, I'm not going to put them all the way on, but there's a few different versions of the faces here. The little face mask. This is what I like to call the Shrek version. 
Because <laughs> it looks very much like the armor that Shrek oh, yeah. wore in the movie. Um, he comes with an extra set of hands, of course. They, they all are, do. They all do. Uh, but he also has this awesome other helm that uh, harkens back to Dungeons & Dragons. It is kind of a it's, dungeon. It's very, very much Dungeons & Dragons-esque, that helm it is. It is very, uh, um, uh, is it Lionheart? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the Paladin figure has a helmet very much like that. Yeah. So it's a, a very uh, very cool looking little figure, though. I, I like I like the knight very much. Uh, Dave, you want to move on and we'll pull your arc orcs over here and you can uh, you can take over for the orcs there. Well, buddy. of course, we got to have bad guys. Well, yeah. Why so we wouldn't get, we? We get orcs. Yeah. And they are badass. They are very, very cool. And of course, as you can see, they also come with a ton of stuff. A ton of stuff. expecting the camera to pan so oh well, sorry here we'll just move everything right. back there we go there you go there we go yeah. and yeah as you, as you can see big old they, pile of parts now they're basically the same figure the green one is the, the the main release the orc conqueror and the uh the red one is the new jersey comic-con blasted land orc yes uh they basically all come with the same stuff uh so that's kind of why I, I did them differently um as they've again, like they got the articulation. They've got the little soft goods, not soft goods, but like little, soft plastic. Soft plastic. Uh, one thing, as I was messing around with them, they've got these weird little thigh pads, which took Dave forever to figure out what. I didn't know where they went, man. I, th I thought they were alternate shoulder pads, like the knight. The shoulder pads plug in. Yes. So. And it took. Uh, they've even got these little like fur capes that go. They've got these fur capes. I messed up mine, and then Jason sort of went and. I fixed, I fixed the burning orcs. See, they've got yeah. these little capes. They connect under the the little. They pegs. go into the post on the yeah. pegs, which is which is the only place on them you could have done it. But I don't know. <laughs> Dave, Dave uh, it's been a long night of filming, folks. It's been a long night of filming. <laughs> uh, unlike the the other shields, they just hold their shields. Yeah, they don't have a, a strap to hold them on, um, and they do come with the different different helmets and the different visors. And like I like we said. I was having some issues getting them on the the rivets. Yeah, because they're new plastic. We have a skull one. To... We have a guy with a beard, and then we have kind of the war helm, the Shemansi war helm, yes. which is similar to the pal or the the knight, but it's it's different and it's all one piece, unlike the other two, which are visors that that peg onto a simple helm. Yes. Uh, we get two heads. And you can also even uh, have the helmet without one of the face masks and just have it kind of yeah, just as a, as a helmet. Yeah. Uh, these are the two heads, uh, kind of a beardless and a bearded. Beardless and a bearded. Um, <laughs> long night of filming. Yes. Uh, he comes with kind of an orc. They come with these primitive orc swords. Which are cool. Which are very cool. And then a war hammer. They're almost like they're, uh, they're made out of rock. Yeah, very primitive, uh, roughly, S roughly hewn yeah. metal. Uh, if you watch Lord of the Rings, there's actually a sequence where you see them making the sword. Oh, huh. They're not exactly like those, but they, they're very reminiscent. Lord of the Rings-esque. Yeah, so one main difference with the Burning Lands orc... see if I can pull this off. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, the hand came off. Wow. He okay. actually... He does come with an extra piece. So you can turn his big mallet So his hammer can be a mace. Which is awesome. So, yeah. A mace. Which is nice. Yeah, which is really cool. Um, and very distinctive. The cape makes the shoulder pads not want to stay on very well. Yeah, it's... But again, new plastic, they kind of... Yeah. I These are really cool figures. I honestly am very tempted to army build... Orcs. The, the Conqueror Orc. I would I would army build the, the Blasted Land Orc if I could get more of them. Yeah. Um, but I think he's going to be kind of... Because his stuff is all in the gold, and he's kind of... He's probably going to be the boss. Right. And these guys are like the... The, the little soldiers. The minions, the primitive yeah. guys. Yeah. There you go, guys. There's a look at the Series 2 of Vitruvian Hacks. Uh, wave from 1. Wave 1 of Series 2. Now, Wave 2, of course, we're going to have uh, Nerissa, the, witch, uh, the Withered Branch Commander... Felonius is the Dark Elf. Yes. The Felonius Human Mage, the Knight of Asperity, which is the skeleton, and the female Orc Conqueror. So yep. we've got more coming. It's a good... I mean, they're all cool. They're all amazing. I mean, these figures are simply, simply stunning. Uh, you can go find these at BossFightShop.com. 
Uh, they are currently available on just about every major internet retailer, Big Bad Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, like everyone's carrying these. Uh, if you live near Kokomo Toys in Kokomo, Indiana, pretty sure they've got these right now too. Probably a huge selection of them. Probably. I would imagine. Uh, beautiful figures though. If you picked up the first Vitruvian Hacks, if you went all in on the Kickstarter like David did, these are must-haves. I mean, these, these are, are must-haves. You know, I said it with uh, uh, the... Uh, I'm looking right at them. can't remember. Oh, the... Yeah, yeah. Um, 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 wow, um, this is sad. Um, yeah. You want to just cut and start over? No, no, no. No, no. As I said in our review for these figures, which I was very impressed with, and, and I'm completely blanking on the name, and Jason won't let us reshoot. No. Uh, it's they, fun this fight. They stepped up their game in Series 2. And I... Boss fight literally, like, started... Yeah. Yes. And, like... I mean, they stepped up their game. That's, that's really high. Which is, which is amazing, considering yes. how great the Series 1 figures are. I mean, these things are just works of art. Yeah. And they're cool toys. They're very cool toys. And of course... I am elemental. I am elemental. Yes, thank you. There we go. We figured it out. We're, we're in our 40s, people. They're great people. toys. Buy them. Yes. I'm so sorry. Yes. I forgot their names. We're, we're, we're in our 40s, people. This is what happens when you get older. You just forget things. Yes. Ginkgo below, but don't help none. It does not help much. No, not at all. Great figures, though. I mean, this is just wave one of yeah, Series Yeah, I mean, two. the point I was making is that they really they stepped up their game. Yes. I mean, the paint apps on this guy... Little tiny gold accents. It's amazing. And if you think the fantasy, like if you thought the Greek mythology one was amazing, the fantasy one is just as it's amazing, so if not good. more. Uh, and to think in series three, which we're not going to see for a while, is all going to be sci-fi outer space, like yeah. very retro, vintage. Kind of retro slash anime robots, retro people, spacesuits. And then series four is going to be amazing because it's pirates versus mermaids. Something like that. Something yeah. like that. It's along those lines. Sea monsters versus yeah. pirates. It's very going to be very, very cool, though. So these are awesome. But you go to bossfightshop.com, pick up your own set. Uh, you can still find the New Jersey Comic-Con version. It's a little tougher to find. Um, it is going up in price a little bit. But it's still relatively easy to obtain as of right now. Dave had a little trouble at first. Uh, they, if you say so. Well, then they offered a bunch of them on their shop, and he was able they to They did, them. yeah, eventually. So. Um, just, I mean, one... There's just so many little details. Yeah. Like these little things here are so you can attach your own straps. Yeah, you can attach to your own the shield straps. so you can wear it across his back. So just amazing stuff. Like man. I'm sure we've missed so oh, many oh, little yeah. things. I'm I, sure I feel have. bad. I'm sure we have because they put so much love and attention. You could in detail. spend. We could spend an hour plus. We could. These They're and, great. And They're wonderful. Not, Bossfightshop.com. Yes, pick them up, uh, gang. There you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this look at Vitruvian Hacks uh, Series Two Wave One. Uh, we'll be back with uh, Series 2 Wave 2 when those eventually hit. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. So keep your eye out. And gang, uh, until next time. Keep playing with your toys. Take care, guys. We'll see you real soon. He's got a mace. It's scurry. I know he's got a mace. Scurry. Ha! <laughs> I killed it. Oh, that's sad.